Hey everyone, welcome to Archland. So just a little bit of a disclaimer here. For this PvP tier list, this should have been out last Feb. So I'm going to just put this out now because uh, I was kind of busy the last week of Feb. And also this tier list is going to be covering mostly mid-level up to level 60. Okay, so... Again, uh, I wouldn't recommend the lower rarities because eventually you'll be using mostly SSRs. And if you want to compete in PvP, you have got to get the SSRs in the higher tiers. So we'll start off with Silva here. So Silva, uh, Fire, definitely a nice Ignite kit, but that is up to where she's going to be good at. Okay, so not really an impressive kit for me. Next up beside her is Peacock. So Peacock, nice kit, but very, very <laughs> underwhelming damage. Um, I was using her at the start, but eventually as the game progressed and the levels progressed, she cannot really compete with um, enemies and also particularly PvP. So let's move on to tier... A. So you have here Ibn Atar. Um, pretty much, again, not really good in PvP because of his mobility, survivability. Um, but again, he he is going to be, you know, he's going to be water. If if you, you know, if you don't have any water um, element heroes that you want to use in PvP, he could do the job. But again, not a very good long-term use in PvP. Next is, ha is he here is going to be Clarice. So for Clarice, guys, um, nice Ignite kit, nice mobility. Um, in the end, uh, I won't use I will I wouldn't use her in late PvP. Probably early, she would be good up to the mid, but not from mid to late. So again, she drops off um, drastically when she's going to the late PvP. Next up is going to be Capet. So this knight is nice to have, has buffs. Um, nice element, which is lightning, which could counter the dominance of water. But again, there's going to be a big drop off when she when she reaches mid to late PvP. So again, uh, she would be tier A. And last is Kabir. Um, there are a lot of better tanks than Kabir. If you want to be competitive in PvP, especially for the late PvP, I don't think his kit is going to cut it. He's a hybrid between a tank and a warrior. So. Again, he's, he's kind of confused where in where he would fit in, and I don't think he'll shine in PV, especially if you want really a solid tank. Okay, next up is going to be tier S. So for tier S, we have here your heroes that are on average can carry you, but not a hundred percent. Okay, they can carry you late game, but depending on their matchups and also the, the, there are better counterparts than them in the the next two tiers so we have here a tour i hope i pronounced his name correctly so we have uh atum sorry atum atum here um fire for the element, for his kit, he's going to be good. But for the element with the dominance again of water, um, he's going to be see, he's going to fall victim to water. Okay, not really because of his, of his kit. You can still use him actually, but again, with the dominance of water, I don't think Atum can really perform, especially in late PvP. He he can be very, you know, he can be very reliable in terms of survivability. Um, but faced with water, I don't think he can. So next up is Alicia. So this one, Alicia, Alicia is this a, a decent healer. I don't have a problem with her. It's just that there are better healers on the next two tiers. That is actually her weakness, and uh, I don't see any plus for her moving up of the tier list. Um, she doesn't give additional, you know 
quirks or additional you know things or additional skills aside from healing and probably taking out debuffs but again guys um alicia is a good one uh if you want to start from as a beginner up to the mid probably moving forward there are better healers than alicia so next up is going to be cassie so cassie here um early game mid um uh, pretty much very annoying but when you reach the end game kit is really one-sided as a tank so she's really a good tank that's it not nothing really special with her the only upside that she has is that she's water but again she's only a tank really really good tank that's it again nothing special aside from being a good tank okay next up is going to be Jin. so Jin is new to the tier list um Jin really specializes in counter attack um if you constructed Jin with a very very high attack wherein he it doesn't need to be to be attacked let's say for example he kills the enemy one shot then you're good but sometimes that counter you know that that first attack not counter attack that first attack doesn't really you know deal much damage unless you built him really with extremely big damage so again if you don't kill the enemy with the first attack Jin is actually vulnerable um i've tried to use him in pvp I, I still stick with charlotte charlotte's very versatile very you know uh high survivability and everything i Jin um is going to really be good in pve um probably average in pvp and last is going to be nola so nola here um lightning uh mage good with single target she also again very one-sided mostly is her kit that is why she's going to be an average she doesn't give you, you know other others from damage no other you know in other uh intangibles aside from damage so again uh nola is going to be average but they're, they're very serviceable it just there are still better uh mages uh on the top tier so speaking of top tier we go to ss tier so this one the ss tier is pretty much very very good already very re reliable in pvp um all of them i've tested um as in as in really extensively tested so starting off with gabrielle gabrielle has been my tank since i started I've been using she, she's kind of crazy right now in 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 PvP. Um although she's she has a lot in her kit. Very good element for light. Um a lot um, she has debuffs, extended, you know, extended escort and like that. But again, um her being being light also doesn't mean uh does mean that she is going she, she isn't going to have many weaknesses but she isn't going to have an advantage elementally as well so that is why she is with ss next up is going to be valak so valak aside from healing does give a, a little bit of offense to you know to the hero that she heals um She's nice to have. She's she, she's particularly nice to have in PVE. For PVP, the small damage that she deals or after her heals um, really is a little bit more damage. So really good for PVE. For PVP, she's going to give you that extra aside from heals. So, but again, there is a better healer at the top. So next up is the twins, Susie and Susan. Susie and Susan probably one one of my you know favorite mages in terms of damage not only for her, for her debuffs her ability to stun because of debuffs and to damage is really really nice if you just place her well with timing and debuffs she can really take out at least one or disable one 
That is why I like her. But again, mages are risky in PvP. Um, <laughs> survivability is actually risky. So SS is going to be her tier. Next up is going to be Catherine. So Catherine, all around uh, buffer, debuffer, has a minion with her. Again, a very, very nice, um, you know, very nice hero to have. Really suited for PvP. Um, she's very all around. Um, she doesn't really have a strength per se. She's very all around. Um, I can't really push her up because, again, being all around doesn't make you top tier. So, again, um, nice to have. She kind of lacks a bit in terms of... She has support. Her damage is is not as good as Susie and Susan. So, again, if she, her damage was, was, was really high, I would put her at SSS. But at this point, uh, I don't think so. So, next is going to be Lena. So, for Lena, guys, um, mobility-wise, she is one of the best mages that we have positioning hampering of movement slowing of movement um uh, the only thing again that is hampering mages is their survivability so that is why they're in tier ss uh next up is going to be michael michael very high mobility very good at buffs late game can really really help your team um not really low damage decent damage i've noticed that she also packs a punch so with her high mobility and her damage and her buffs i i don't believe that she has low damage i've seen her deal damage and again i really like her kit so probably the way michael was built again very good for PvP late game, so she is at SS. The last one on our PvP is going to be Marguerite. Marguerite um, can can throw or teleport somebody somewhere in the map as long as it's within her proximity. So again, she gains that mobility edge, or she gains um she gains a similar skill to clafare but again um and also she does terrific damage guys the buffs that she has plus damage she has good damage output again her only weakness is going to be survivability so not really a top tier for me for pvp because she might be targeted most mages are very vulnerable and might be targeted first so Again, if they die, they won't be able to do anything. So that is it for tier SS. And the last tier is going to be tier SSS. So most of you guys um, have been using them. There are only a few changes here. Charlotte, of course, tops in damage, uh, multiple attacks, survivability, you name it. Water is one of the best elements in the in pvp so definitely she's going to stay there for a while next up is clafare best healer and uh, the take another turn thing that she has and gives it to allies that is very easy to use and nice to have in pvp so again best in movement and placement and terrific heals really for her kit next up is going to be semi Semi, very high mobility, can really um, pick off soft targets. Um, I've seen her do it. Really nice dodge to complement her mobility. Probably the only assassin here that I would say that is really worthy of PvP. And she'll stay you know, that way for, for quite a long time. She Her element is quite good, which is lightning, which is... Uh, which has an advantage over water. So she's definitely going to be staying in SSS for PvP. Next up is going to be Richard. So Richard, very nice to have. Richard is, is also lightning, by the way. So very nice to have against water. 
can really really defend well um if you build if you build him as support and defense then he will complement your attackers definitely so i actually built mine that way not the offensive type of richard again tops in terms of pvp and there are two new um heroes here in pvp um erica sniper sniper um with her exclusive weapon you can't go wrong with her really high damage high damage extra attack buffs buffs your the attack of your of your warriors by the way so again perfect complement in pvp um again she if if isinar is going to be you know um uh defeat two she's actually perfect for that stage because she needs to pick apart only two and you know she's easy to use far away range and easy to hide amongst your heroes uh decent survival survivability as well perfect for pvp i tell you probably the only archer that can really be used in pvp and the last one is sighard okay sighard from the previous tier list um was at ss i recently used him in pvp or is using him in pvp and he can actually take a lot of damage from water units even from charlotte so if you build him well um he can you know he can he can take damage from water and also if there are a lot of lightning you know lightning uh heroes on your enemies then he is actually your answer guys lightning is actually lower than than fire so again he is very he's, he's great at pvp has self heal large damage output very good at defense uh the, uh, very good in defense and with hp um again he is one of your best warriors at max level okay take note of that um i never i've, I've never regretted getting him as our free ssr so that is it guys that is your um tier list for pvp for the month of march so don't worry, I'll put a link in the description for this tier list so that you may um, have a second reference to this tier list while you are building your PvP roster. Okay, so that is it, guys. Thank you very much for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.